This is Tyson's shit, and these are his bag, his sparring gloves that we've been sparring with. As you can see, there's no fucking padding in here, and all the padding's in the back of his fucking glove. Look at that shit. I could touch my other side of my finger with this shit, and there's shit falling out from the middle of the glove. Does he know who the fuck I am? He must not know, does he? He does he. What? Oh, he does not know. Look at this shit, man. And then, hold on. These are the spawn gloves they told me they got for me. These thick ass. Look at. Hold on. Let's see. Watch the squeeze. Going nowhere. Going nowhere. Watch this shit. Get the fuck out of here. As time goes by, old media seemed to have the plan set to let Tyson Fury glove allegations die out with Tom. If you can't go against the truth, you simply ignore it. That's pretty much how old media is operating and approaching the situation. They know they can't go against the truth. So they chose to contain it by simply ignoring all of the facts that's right in front of their faces till it dies out. However, I have devastating news for old media. Just like the Rona virus, it's too late to contain the truth at this point because it been leaked out. Remember, for every yin, that's a yang. On the other side, new media on the other hand, we have developing news daily when it comes to proven Tyson Fury glove allegations where that's being politically correct. We know Tyson Fury did the dirt and our key investigations playlist prove that. Therefore, I don't just have another one when it comes to the glove scandal evidence. I have a better one when it comes to evidence. And this time around, it's not on the left glove. It's actually the right glove that these decafs and old media claim it was doing the damage. See, the way they tried to justify Tyson Fury cheating was by them claiming it wasn't the left hook that was doing the damage. It was the right hand. So how ironic is it? These decafs and old media got exactly what they were asking for. That's just the icing on the cake. It don't matter if it was the right hand or the left hand. If a man cheated, he simply cheated. Even Tyson Fury told us before the fight, the key to victory was the left hook. But the part that I missed was him talking about dipping his hands in gasoline and putting them on fire fight night, which he literally did so with both of the gloves. So before I talk about the evidence that's on the table, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decaps, aka dumb casual ass fans slash old media that don't know shit about boxing like Roger Mayweather love to say. So click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post or go live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show where our key is the past, present, and future undisputed, pound for pound when it comes to debating, where you more than welcome to call in. Anybody can get it, even my our keys, with a record of 500 and 0 with 500 KOs. And none of these decafs are a show that you see in the comment section. They simply are keyboard warriors. They don't even have the cojones to call in because they stay eating that contaminated meat, that wild boar that shrink their cojones. They scared to even have a debate with no face and no name. So stay being a keyboard warrior and let me go ahead and dive into the business at hand. First things first, shout out to King Corlys one for providing me these evidence. Second of all, for the people that say, why are you exposing Tyson Fury? It's not going to do anything. Funny enough, as y'all see above, this page exposes Tyson Fury for tampering with his gloves on Instagram. And out of them 100 viewers, 
the Gypsy King himself is one of the viewers. So he's out here lurking while he got his Instagram blocked. Now, how ironic is that? This page don't have 10,000 views on his storyline. He simply have 109 viewers. But ironically enough, Tyson Fury is one of the main people that's lurking on his page because he pretty much could feel the guilt and trying to see how far he been exposed. So it don't matter how big or small your page is. If you speak the truth, it will get to the destination is the point that I'm making. With that being stated, we all pretty much assumed that Tyson Fury only tampered with his left hand, not his right hand. However, he tampered with both shockingly, as you all see above. It's clear as day that Tyson Fury right glove have been tampered with. I mean, when do you ever see a brand new glove that's wrinkled? Tyson Fury right hand, that glove right there is brand new, supposedly. So why we see all the wrinkles on the right glove? Like it's two years old. Like it's the gloves that he sparred Nicholas Asbury with. The sparring partner that exposed him for tampering with his gloves and sparring. Why this glove look like the one he was sparring Nicholas Asbury with? It's supposed to be brand new. Now for the people that's not informed and they don't know what a brand new glove look like, I'd be more than glad to show you all. As you all see above, a brand new glove supposed to be puffed out. It's supposed to be distributed evenly throughout the glove, at least when it comes to the padding. However, for Tyson Fury case, instead of the glove being puffed out, it's actually the other way around. It's caved in. How is that even possible for a glove that's supposed to be brand new? There is only one answer to that question, which is the obvious answer. The glove been tampered with, especially at the knuckle area on the glove. The glove padding is definitely not distributed evenly throughout the glove. And if you wonder, how is that even possible? How did Tyson Fury pull it off? Well, it ain't a miracle. He's been known in the past in his most biggest significant fights of his career against the likes of Klitschko and fighters that he struggled fighting. He always requested special made gloves that pretty much is only made for him or he threatened to walk out of the fight. Y'all don't believe me? Check out the interview before he fought Klitschko. This is all on tape, ladies and gentlemen. These are facts that are documented on Aki Investigations. All you have to do is click on that hashtag. So I have all my receipts. Therefore, when it comes to Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch, we know Tyson Fury tampered with his right glove in that fight in particular. We knew he tampered with his left glove, but we weren't so sure when it comes to the right glove. So at this point, I do see why Tyson Fury elected to go all the way to ESPN in order to sign a three fight deal, where it was pretty much two cherry picks and then a Deontay Wilder rematch. Even though he could have ran it back right away, it was on the table but he elected not to do so because all of the elements wasn't on the table for him. He needed a cover up. He needed a backup to cover all these dirty tactics and him cheating against Deontay Wilder in the rematch. It's clear as day at this point. For the people that still trying to deny Tyson Fury cheating against Deontay Wilder allegedly, they not trying to understand. They clearly do. However, they not going to admit it because they simply don't care. Even if Tyson Fury grabbed the bat and beat Deontay Wilder with it, as long this hopeless fighter 
beats this coincidentalist fighter, it don't matter how far and beyond he goes in order to do so, they don't care as long he gets the job done. And that's the end of the story when it comes to these decaps and these decaps wizards. That's exactly why old media rather cover up for Tyson Fury than put the truth on the forefront. I mean, why would they? When that was their greatest joy, their greatest victory, they are not about to ruin that because Tyson Fury screwed up the recipe they were cooking since he got caught on tape. So pretty much what they doing is they letting the cover up begin. And on the other hand, us new media, we letting the exposing begin. Furthermore, the million dollar question is on the table. How is Tyson Fury right glove caved in when it's supposed to be puffed out and also wrinkly at the same time, especially at the knuckle area on the glove? That's the million dollar question. Especially when it comes to a brand new leathered glove in the sport of boxing. That's literally impossible unless the glove have been tampered with. So to Tyson Fury, this is nothing but an execution from what he does in training cap. And you could ask Nicholas Asbury that. Tyson Fury sparring partner that busted him tampering with his gloves in sparring. We have witnesses, we have proofs, on hard evidence, we have victims, we have fighters co-signing these allegations. So what more evidence do you all need in order to push for justice in the sport of boxing? This is nearly the George Floyd situation in the sport of boxing. Are y'all waiting for a man to be killed in the ring by these cheating tactics in order to push for justice? This man literally attempted murder. There is no place for cheaters in the sport of boxing. It has to be even playing field since fighters life are on the line. They not playing with a the ball. Their life is pretty much on the line. We all know boxing is corrupted, but how much is the corruption is the million dollar question. With that being stated, I have another video dropping on this manner where a fighter came out exposing Tyson Fury for tampering with his gloves, both of his gloves. So with that being stated, I'ma just drop that video possibly tomorrow. So be on the lookout for the cookout. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't. And listen to these decaps, AKA dumb casual ass fans slash old media that don't know ish about boxing. And shout out to DBN for being the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of. My broski, my Aki Dante. And if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post to go live on split decision it's a boxing debate slash talk show where our key is the past present and future undisputed pound for pound number one when it comes to debating with a record of 500 and 0 and 500 ko's it's supposed to be split decision but it's always a knockout because i got the truth in my pocket there's two sides to every story however when the truth is spoken the other side is nothing but a lie these decafs treating me like the Mike Tyson of debating, the most feared. I have a better record than Floyd Money May, and none of these decafs or these decafs expert could put a blemish on our key record on live. But like I always tell y'all, three things that could never be hitting for too long. The sun, the moon, and the truth that I speak daily on the mic. With that being stated, shout out to Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me on IG and keep it a G. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV. Peace and we out of here.